4.4 number 17, we are going to calculate the limit when x is approaching to infinity on x over square root of x. And we should always observe what happens when x is at infinity. Ln of infinity, because Ln is an increasing function, namely, the bigger the number you plug in inside, the bigger the outcome is going to be. In another word, Ln of infinity is infinity. Likewise, that happens the same for square root. Square root of infinity it's also infinity. So this is going to be the infinity over infinity situation. And luckily, we can use L'Hopital's rule as well, which means we are allowed to take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, and then compare their derivative and do the limits. So this is the limit when x is approaching infinity. L derivative of ln x is 1 over x, derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. And now, we end up with a complex fraction right here. Let us multiply everything by the lowest common denominator of the small fractions. Namely, I have to multiply 2x and square root of x together. So I'll do that on the top, and I also do that on the bottom. 2x square root of x. On the top, this x and that x will cancel. On the bottom, the two cancels, the screw of x will cancel. So, altogether, I will have the limit when x is approaching infinity. On the top, I have two screw of x. And on the bottom, I just have an x. And then there's another note that I have to make. Because if you observe this part, square root of x over x, screw of x is the same as like x to the one half, over the bottom is like x to the one, I can subtract the exponents, this is going to be x to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half, and altogether, this is 1 over square root of x. So this part, I can rewrite this as the limit when x approaches to infinity, on the top is just a 2, but this together turns out to be square root of x on the denominator. And now, Imagine that if x is approaching to infinity, all right? We have to talk about it. Square root of infinity is going to be infinity. So this right here, the 2 is just on the top. It's a finite number. Over, the bottom is going to be incredibly large. 2 over a huge number, like an infinity number. Altogether, this is 0. And this is pretty much the answer. That's the answer, all right? This is 0. And that's the answer for the original limit question.